Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be going over and doing a reflection of the Sears and Kmart stores that close for the final time today, which is Sunday, April 18th, 2021. Now, some of the locations also closed um, on Saturday, April 17th, 2021, but again, these are the following locations that closed between those two days. So, the following locations are... The Kmart store in Long Beach, California, the Kmart store in Hyannis, Massachusetts, the Kmart store in Silver Spring, Maryland, and that's the last Kmart, I believe, in the state of Maryland. Uh, the Kmart store in Belleville, New Jersey, is the last Kmart store in Essex County, New Jersey. The Kmart store in Kingston, Pennsylvania, near the uh, right just outside of the Greater Squareton area, and the Kmart store in Willow Street, Pennsylvania, which is near... Um, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Lancaster Township, or the La Lancaster area, whatever. Um, the Kmart store in Rio Padilla, Puerto Rico, uh, also closed for the final time today. Um, and moving on to the Sears store. So a couple of significant losses for Sears today. Uh, the Sears store in Los Angeles, Boyle Heights, California. The Sears store in Clovis, California. The Sears store in Orange, California. The Sears store in Sacramento, California. The Sears store in Brandon, Florida. The Sears store in Aia, Hawaii. They're really Sears and Roebuck, but I'm just going to call them Sears anyway. Uh, the Sears in Hillow, Hawaii. The Sears in North Attleboro, Massachusetts. The Sears store in Silver Spring, Maryland. Uh, now Maryland is now down to only one Sears store. The Sears store at the Green Acres Mall in Valley Stream, New York. The Sears store in Hyatt Puerto Rico. The Sears store in Mayaguez, Puerto Rico. The Sears store in Mesaquit, Texas. And finally, the Sears store in Dulles, Virginia. All of those stores uh, closed for the final time today. So... We're going to highlight three locations that I think were very fitting for this video, and we're just going to take a very quick look at them. Um, so anyways, this is the list again, and this list will be located um, in the description below, uh, showing off the, the list as well, so you guys can view the list. Um, it is able to be enabled to see everyone, so you guys can view the list um, by clicking the link that will be located in the description of this video as well. So, as we move on to Google Maps here, we're going to start with the Kmart store in my home state of New Jersey. This is the Belleville Kmart, um, and this is the uh, uh, freestanding Kmart. Obviously, those hours are not accurate. Um, so, let's take a, we're going to take a quick look um, at this Kmart. We're not going to do a full uh, 360 of this Kmart because there is a special video dedicated to that, which you guys can find on my YouTube channel. Um, so, this Kmart has been here, I believe, for a very long time. Um, it is unfortunate that today was the final day of operation for this Kmart store. The uh, Carney location is expected to be shutting down within the next two weeks. So again, um, let's see if we can get a, get a better view. This looks this looks very recent. Uh, we'll go back a little bit. Um, so there it is, uh, the Kmart in Kearney, New Jersey. Nice ad for a driving school. Let's actually try and get a little bit of a better view. Go back a little bit more. Um, so there it is, uh, the Kmart in uh, Belleville, New Jersey did close, unfortunately, for the final time today. Uh, so now we are down to three Kmart stores, one that is currently finishing up liquidation sales, and two that are still currently not liquidating uh, that are in with uh, that are within the state of New Jersey. So moving on from my home state of New Jersey, the next uh, closure we are going to hit uh, is the Sears at the Greenacres Mall in Valley Stream, New York. Now this store, I also did an extensive uh, video on as well. So this Sears and Roebuck store um, located at the Green Acres Mall in Valley Street, New York, uh, also closed for the final time today. I believe the Auto Center did close in March. Uh, so after this Sears closure, which, yeah, there's not really a fantastic view. Um, so after this Sears closure, which did happen today, which is Sunday, April 18th, 2021, uh, there is now only one Sears and Roebuck store left on Long Island, and that is at the Sunrise Mall, formerly known as Westfield Sunrise, located in Massapequa, New York, within Nassau County. So Nassau County, New York, uh, is down to the last Sears store at the Westfield, or sorry, Sunrise Mall NY, which is owned um, by Urban Edge Properties. This property where the former Sears was, was owned by Make Eric. So it is a shame, but I'm not going to go through this store. Uh, again, this is just a quick reflection video going over the stores. And of course, we'll do we'll we'll really dedicate this video especially to this one because I think it's very important. Uh, the Sears store in the outer neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. Yes, this is this is a huge blow and the biggest blow I believe in the entire list um, of the Sears stores. The 
Uh, Sears store. What? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. Okay. The Sears store in the Boyle Heights neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. Uh, this is definitely going to be missed. And I wanted to really spend this video talking about this store. Uh, this was the mailing Sears hub for... Sorry. This was the Sears mailing hub uh, for the West Coast of the United States. And it is an absolute shame uh, to see this store go. I mean, this is this is very similar to what Brooklyn used to look like. Um, definitely a much bigger version of what the one in downtown Hackensack, New Jersey looked like, uh, but it is an absolute shame to see this one go. Um, and I do wish, you know, like I said, for all those stores I listed, including this iconic one in the Boyle Heights neighborhood of Los Angeles, I wish the absolute best of luck for all those employees f on, on finding a new job. Um, I know it's going to be difficult given the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, but hopefully you can get back on your feet um, as soon as possible. So again, a very iconic looking building. Um, I believe it has been here since 1927, so it's been in this spot for a very, very, very long time. Um, and it is a shame to see the building go, or the store rather go. I believe the store only took up the first uh, three floors of the building, but you can see, I mean, this is a mass, this was a massive building for Sears. Um, and this was their hub, this was their hub mailing center uh, for the West Coast of the United States. And of course, um, it's just an iconic Sears building altogether, and it is an absolute shame to see this. And look at that, look at that old Sears sign. Um, you know, it's a pretty iconic building. Um, again, a real shame to see this building go, of course. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and under, and I believe that on the corner um, of the corner of the building, uh, I don't know if they had it or I thought I saw an American flag. No. They probably had one at one point on top of the building, but I, I don't see them having an American flag anymore. Um, so this was the front of the store. Yeah, look at that. That that is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that Sears sign, man. This is awesome. What a what a what a shame this store this store had to close. But um, we, we know we know what the game plan was, and I've gone over it so many times, and I'm not going to today because this is more of a reflection video of the Sears and Kmart stores that closed for the final time today. Uh, but it is an absolute shame to see this store go, especially. And, and, you know, not just this store, but all the other stores in general. Uh, just an absolute shame to see them all go and all those all these people um, that lost their jobs today, unfortunately, at these Sears and Kmart stores. But as we all know, the closing saga is not over because within the next two weeks, I'll be making another reflection video um, going over the rest, um, the, the other Sears and Kmart stores uh, that will be closing next Sunday, uh, two weeks from today, actually. Uh, they'll be closing as well, so... Anyways, so this is another view of the Sears um, We Heart history. So this is definitely a historical building, so hopefully um, this can be remodeled into uh, some kind of apartments, hopefully. Um, this is definitely an opportunity for a developer to come in and redevelop this or renovate this building and maybe throw in some apartments in the old Sears building. I think that would be a very smart uh, move economically. Wow, yeah, retail store. Look at that old sign. And, you know, back in the day, they didn't have elevators that would lead you up to that. Like, um, you know, you could tell how old this building was. And it's it's really sad to see this building go. Um, they've de I mean, they've, they've definitely downsized the building or downsized the amount of space that they really needed um, back in the day. I mean, this building is freaking large. Wow. I've never seen a store for Sears. This, I mean, this is even bigger than Brooklyn. It's crazy. I mean, I guess that makes sense because this was their mailing center for the West Coast. So I could see why they wanted to make this building as big as possible, but man, this is a loss. Oh wow, look at that old retail store sign. That's amazing. Wow, just amazing. But obviously I wanted to take this video to spend a little bit more time on this one in, in Boyle Heights. Typically I wouldn't, but this is such an iconic store. Um, I wanted to make sure to spend as much time as possible um, on this store. So, And then this is the back part of the store, I guess. I guess they were giving it to trucks, but... I mean, man, this is a huge building for Sears. I bet they, I mean, this must have this, and back in like the twenties, this must have been a huge mailing center for them. Um, and they had all kinds of docks. Uh, looks like they have a security camera up there too, which is interesting. Um, but again, really sad. Whoop, that was a little too far. Um, but again, really sad to see this store go. Um, you know, and this store along with the others, of course. But again, just an absolute shame to see this store go. So, and that's basically a 360 of the store. Uh, this is the rest of the store. So we'll give you a 3D view. Uh, so here we go. Uh, this is the north, sorry, the south part of the building. 
Uh, this is the west part of the Sears, and I believe there's an entrance here. So there's a west entrance to the building, and there is a grand, a grand north entrance, which I do not think is used anymore. So I think you have to enter the retail store uh, through here or through here. But again, like I said before, an absolute shame that this store is closing. Very iconic, and it's a real shame I never actually got to visit the store. Like I said, if I was living on the West Coast, no doubt I would have made it here, but um, I live on the East Coast of the United States, so it's a little bit harder for me to get to. So, Anyways, guys, so again, we wanted to take a quick look at three locations, of course, that were pretty iconic and very interesting. Obviously, the one in my home state, the Sears, the Green Acres, Mall of Asher, New York, and the Los Angeles and Boyle Heights, California. Um, again, so really sad to see all these stores closing. Again, for the, all the employees working at these stores, um, I do wish the absolute best of luck of finding a new job. And uh, hopefully you can find a new job uh, as soon as possible. I know that we're in a pandemic, but hopefully you can find a new job as soon as possible. So, Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Please make sure to check the links located in the, I'm sorry. Please make sure to check the link uh, for this list that will be located um, in the video description below. And it will give you all the locations that are closing so you can have fun on Google Maps tonight searching up these former locations now. So, Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And that will be it.